Hey everybody, welcome to AJS News. This is the first of two videos we have for you today. And a brand new word for our sponsor, limited time deal, G Fuel going to 30% off. This mm -hmm. rarely happens, and that's coinciding with some brand new flavors. They have Duke Nukem, and they have Fallout. Yeah, Quantum. S quantum... What is it? Nuka Cola Quantum. Nuka Cola uh, Quantum. And then the Duke Nukem here is Ego Boost, Nuclear Sunset. Uh, and that I one like comes the with the cup. It's pretty sweet. Crazy shaker cup here. You, you put some got... extra in the bottom. What? Take the, it to go. The fans. No, yeah, he puts them in there. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm going to try that right now. Anyways, guys, check out limited time deal going on right now. 30% off with G Fuel using our code Angry Joe. Uh, all right. So let's get right into uh, the video. So in AJS News, um, what, what can I cover here? Basically... Uh, over the weekend, me, Jay, and Patrick, we played with the Warhammer 40,000 new codexes. Games Workshop sent us over uh, the Orcs and the Adeptus Custodes, which is Henry Cavill's favorite faction. And Henry's probably pretty pissed because uh, the you, Custodes oh. got nerfed. <laughs> they got nerfed hard because they're like dominating in the tournaments and stuff. And my Orcs, oh my god, they are so strong and fun i just obliterate so probably have a video i'll edit a video out on that and uh, release it sometime during the week and then uh, big angry joe news um our fallout tv show for you was a fallout with our fans one of our lowest rated videos of all time people were pissed with our opinion on the finale not the actually i was i was thinking ah nobody's gonna watch our fallout review is gonna get sixty thousand views no it it blew up um and did very well almost three hundred thousand views the premiere so where we did episodes one through four Everybody really enjoyed that one. Very positive because uh, we liked the first four episodes. Then the next four episodes, we said, oh, slightly disappointed. We didn't like it as much as the first four uh, episodes. And shit hit the <laughs> fan. Uh, you guys really let us have it. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. Uh, we don't want to shy away from any controversies here. Just kind of clarify a little bit of what our positions are. And people are going off in the comments. Some actually having cri constructive criticism. Others going a little hard. So our Fallout, our fallout uh, review got uh, lambasted recently. Um, but I do want to clarify that we like this series. I think, you know, what can happen? is things can snowball and somebody can just read the comments and then just assume our opinions on it rather than watching an hour-long review. So to clarify, we really like the Fallout show. We just liked the first four episodes at an insanely high level. And then the next four, we found some problems with it. and and uh, But ultimately still liked the episode. But we'll talk more about that um, in later on in the episode. And so, yeah, check that out. Uh, all right, Alex, what the heck has been going on in gaming news over the past week? Everything's expensive, and it's getting more so. EA is raising the price of your favorite subscription service, EA Play. I know you use it all the time. Why? Um, oh, my God. And it's because, you know, all of the games that they release that we love. Uh, and so it is now going up to uh, five ninety nine a month for the normal one. Um, and it's going, and it's going to be even more expensive for the yearly. Yeah. Um, um, I need to make sure that that's canceled. I'm going to open up my app and just double check. I, yeah. I want to double check all the time that this is canceled. I can, I got my rocket money app. That I should, yeah. Should be able and to so the, 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 you will probably have that. the pro subscription, um, which yes. is going to 1699 a month. Mm. Um, and it's going to be going up to $120, uh, yeah, $120 a year. Mm, no um, thanks. It gets you access to, you know, all of the games that they release the second that they release them. If you, this is how you play and I don't know why. Uh, or Whew, okay, I don't have EA Play. Yeah. <laughs> I canceled it a while ago. Um, we, we did, did have EA we Play did because we didn't want to pay for Madden every fucking year at sixty or seventy dollars. But then when we realized that they were doing ten-hour trials, and yeah. then we were also like, well. We need to review some, even if you know we don't want to buy. We have to review something. They're not giving us review copies anymore, so 
Um, we have to do that. But EA, you know, they haven't been putting out a lot of really good games. And so a monthly subscription service to EA Play just doesn't make sense. What what doesn't are we seem playing? Worth it. Uh, you know, the older games. Some I mean, of, yeah. we're not playing some Battlefield. Of the, some of their older games. Some of the older games. But it's not really worth the price. Right so I now. think it's time. If y'all have EA Play for whatever reason uh, to consider canceling now, let, let save yourself be. some money. Yeah, the same goes for GTA Plus, which is getting a price increase. Um, and so this one's... Wait, GTA Plus. GTA Plus was a, is a subscription yeah. service that was introduced in 2022. Uh, it was a membership program for GTA Online, and so it gave you in-game perks, um, benefits, uh, faster taxi service, exclusive locations to explore, <laughs> and member-only shark cards. Oh, my um, God. Oh, and so now that's going up to $8 a month. I, I don't know who this is for, but the reason I put this in here... Probably GTA greedy. role players, maybe. That, 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 that's who. That need it because they do streams, and I, I don't know. Okay, maybe, so maybe like a small handful of people. If you're one of those people that got it thinking that you were going to use it all the time, let this be a reminder. This is a public service announcement. Maybe cancel it. It's, cancel. Uh, because it's about to go up uh, a couple dollars a month, and it was probably not worth it at 6, and I don't think it's worth it at all at 8. Now, they have given people access to some of their older titles. Um, you know, Red Dead Redemption... Uh, is, is included on there. Ellie Noir and Bully are coming later this year. So if you're you're using it to get access to some of their older games, maybe. But if maybe, you're not, yeah. maybe it's time. Yeah, to they're just cancel. turning up the steam, seeing how, how how far they could go. Yeah, yeah. And like, people just forget that's the the it, danger yeah. with subscription exactly. stuff. Exactly, so. exactly. I still think that uh, Xbox Game Pass is still worth your subscription. Yeah. There's a big game coming out later this month called uh, Manor Lords. I believe it's on Game Pass. I'll double check. But I think that's on Game Pass, so don't buy it if you have Game Pass. Just get Game Pass. And uh, I think I might plan to review that one. Like, I am so excited about Manor Lord, so stay tuned for that. Okay. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3 has become the first game to win every major Game of the Year award. Um, you know, this is this is big. I mean, some, some major ones have done it. So they won Ultimate Game of the Year at the Golden Joystick Awards. They won the Game Awards, the Dice Awards, the Game Developer's Choice Awards. And now they just won one at the BAFTAs. Um, and so this is a game that absolutely, in my opinion, deserved to win every yes. single major award. And, you know, there were some really good games out, um, but this one was just a head and shoulders above, above the rest of them. So, um, cool. Well, that's right. good, yep. good for them. Cool, cool. Uh, uh, Baldur's Gate 3, man. Uh, I think it deserves all the awards that uh, that it gets. I am a little sad that they're like, yeah, we're, we're done. We're not going to do any more on it just because – such a great game or an award-winning game and you would think that they would want to milk it for all it's worth no, 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 no. and yeah i don't i don't want them to milk it but i do want more of something yeah. i like and so it's a little sad there but um licensing. it's just a game that's v licensing exactly uh with uh, a company that's not very good yeah a company that milks everything that they've got to absolute death yeah. so, so it's so probably for the best games anymore. yeah probably for the best uh, Dead Space 2, all sorts of rumors this week saying that it was reportedly in development, but not anymore due to poor sales. Um, someone on the internet was like, I've gotten very good sources that it was definitely happening and because you know people didn't buy it, now it's canceled. Um, and that rumor was going around all over the place. I saw a bunch of news articles for it. EA has come out saying that um, this is not true. We don't normally comment on rumors, but there is no validity to this story. Um, now, according to the leaker, he's like, no, no, no. Uh, the Dead Space 2 remake was in the uh, concepting phase mm -hmm. pre-production. So, it was I mean, a thought. <laughs> yeah, so people were thinking about the game and they were, they were concepting things out, I, I guess. Um, but I don't think, you know, Dead Space 1 remake didn't do the massive amount of sales that people wanted it to, but it got high praise. People really did enjoy it. So, um, Kind of just clarify that some of these rumors, not all of these rumors are what people think, that there wasn't hundreds of people working on this game, and then all of a sudden it got canceled. It was a small group of people in a room going, hey, should we do this? And That sounds a good idea. That's it. Yeah, and then, and then, and then it goes They away. ran with it. So... <laughs> Uh, we've got some good news if you're a Blizzard fan. So Blizzard has renewed their agreement with NetEase. Now, NetEase was the Chinese company that acted as kind of the conduit into the Chinese market for these Blizzard games. It's what brought over, um, you know, WoW and StarCraft, Diablo, all of those things over there. And when that relationship went sour, um, it was a loss of a massive market for Blizzard. 
NetEase also is making games that are very similar to some of the Blizzard mm. games, um, which I imagine wasn't necessarily good for the relationship. But now that Microsoft owns them, they have re-solidified that uh, agreement, and they are, um, the partnership is back. And so they're going to be bringing Xbox games, uh, Activision, Blizzard, all of that stuff over to the to Blizzard's market. like, hey, they're making good money. We need to tap back into that. Yeah. Because we're not doing so hot. Things things weren't have not been going so well for Blizzard. Um, uh Activision's still doing well. King's still doing well. But yeah, it's it hasn't been doing has been doing great. <clears throat> uh, there is this is something I know you'll love. Uh, there is a King Kong glove in Modern Warfare in, in Warzone, uh, and so if you want to r- run around with that that the conveniently located uh, glove that just magically appeared out of nowhere in the does it just like she, like destroy people? No, no, you just punches them and that's it. it does, they don't fly off or do anything crazy. But it's what? Just, well, Where's the fun in that? Uh, the fun is in acquiring it. So what you have to do is you buy four $20 DLC packs, and then they give it to you. Mm. Four DLC. Yeah. How much? So $80. So the $20 DLC. So you need to spend okay. $80, and then they give it to you. But it's free after that, right? So it's tech. They're just giving it away. They're just giving it away right. at this You're point. Oh, man, that's a sweet deal. Yeah. 80 bucks. Free power glove? I think I'll pass. But you're such a big King Kong fan. <laughs> this happened eh. because of you, Joe. I would have liked this it, but if it was like... This happened because of you. You like way, King Kong. Clearly cheaper. Godzilla's better. Nobody's trying to sell an $80 Godzilla... Uh, a gun that has Spike. an atomic breath? Because Godzilla oh, doesn't Oh, now you're talking weapons. Suicide Squad, so don't do that. Yeah, this is bullshit, Call of Duty. What the fuck? Eighty dollars for a goddamn fist, and and it's nobody free. even uses it. Don't you get all the other skins and the guns? <laughs> to be fair, no. to be fair, it's free when you buy. Four? This this has become a joke that I actually don't like, Joe. The whole to be fair thing. You're defending <laughs> bullshit microtransactions little, just to trigger me. Little and I don't like it. it. I'm. <laughs> Chat, not chat, fucking YouTube comments. Do you like it when Joe defends microtransactions no, like it with to be fair? God damn it. Stop it. This is, un- I this is I, I don't want it. indefensible. It's a Valorant type bullshit where they overcharge. Yeah, it's a free game. But when your fucking gun skills are $345, $100 bundle for digital goods that are fucking useless that... You know, if when Valorant 2 comes out, they're probably not even going to carry over into Valorant 2. No. Nah, fuck that. $80 is way too much. You could have fucking bought, uh, you know, four video games, indie games, one AAA game these days. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe two if you get them on sale. No, guys, no. I I don't care how much you like King Kong. If I see that fucking glove running around, that guy's oh, you dead. See it. That guy is dead. Is it as big as this should be? So the little troop no. is running around. It's as big. It's normal size. Uh, I saw videos. See, of okay, it's... maybe if they made your character as big as King Kong and gave you the glove, then the eighty dollars would be justified. But then that's just a pay-to-win game, mm-hmm. or actually probably pay to lose since you're fo- so fucking big. It's easy to shoot you. <laughs> You can't hide behind, you're hiding behind buildings and you punch me. <laughs> that might be kind of fun, but I ain't going to pay no $80 for it. No, uh, one, one thing to, to note here that this is probably going to be the, the start of a new real fun strategy where these game companies know <coughs> that the microtransactions can be hid, hidden behind other microtransactions. And so it's just another way to try to incentivize people to buy some of these less yeah. popular packs in order to get to the juicier stuff in the back. They've been using it for a long time and a lot of other things that are trying to take advantage of, uh, you know, the fear of missing out or just what, you know, people who have addictive personalities. So this sucks and I'm sure it we're going to see a hell of a lot more of it. Yes. Um, <sighs> speaking of things that absolutely suck, Ubisoft has decided that they are going to be removing people's licenses for the crew. Um, and yeah. so they're going to be, re- you know, they're going to remove it all, all like for the servers, right? They're like, look, we've lost some of the licensing. We're not going to run these servers forever. 
Um, but they've also taken away people's ability to play offline, like at their own house. Um, and this is just a, a shitty thing. This goes in line with what Ubisoft said a couple months ago. It's like, get used yes. to not owning oh, no. video games and all of these other anti-consumer sentiments um, that I don't necessarily agree with. Yeah. So, um, and so this is, a, this is a good quote I wanted to read you guys. Now, it's one thing to just delist a game and still allow owners to download and boot it up if they want, even if the game's technically dead. But it's another thing to revoke the license to the files entirely. And so that's what's happening here. You will not be able to like not have an internet connection and download this game. It'll instead ask you for keys that don't exist, and you just won't be able to play it, even though you paid for it. You're not getting a refund. You're not getting anything. And this is kind of what digital ownership is nowadays and probably will continue to be in the future. That's scary. And with, honestly, shorter licensing periods of time. So you have to be really careful the kind of games that you are thinking about get playing for a long period of time mm -hmm. because those licenses may not be 10 year licenses anymore. They actually yeah. may be two year licenses. Um, and so, well, good thing I put my faith on all, uh, all on two side squad. That game's going to be around forever, forever. Right. right? Yeah. You, yeah. You, forever. Yeah. Uh, WB would forever. never pull support. So we have 12 good. more fucking, <laughs> we got the, the, what is it? 11 more 11 fucking more brainiacs. brainiacs to beat. So, yeah. Watch one of That's the updates. Where it's at. Is one of the update comes out. Beat seven Brainiacs. Yeah. <laughs> back to back. <laughs> You're just rushing, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Speed running through the life life cycle of the game. Well, that's even shittier on Ubisoft coming out with shitty games, shitty tactics, and shitty quotes. Shitty tactics, and now they have licenses that we care about, and they're going to continue. And you bet your ass they're going to fucking continue that kind of shittiness they're preparing you i mean so one of the things that <laughs> jab, these, jab go ahead well one of these things these game companies don't like is patient gamers right they want you mm -hmm. to buy it immediately they want you to buy it full price they don't want you to wait for a sale and i'm one of those people that i love waiting for sales <laughs> yes. i love you know yes, doing yes. all those things and so this is something that is almost you can view as an attack on those things where it's like if they shorten the lifespan of these games through mm -hmm. licensing because remember we're not getting discs anymore and even if you're getting a disc yeah. it just links to something you have a download server that you're downloading the game from and we had reports that what was like 90% of gamers are playing, focusing all of their time on games that are six years yes. or older and so it's they don't want that. They want you p playing mm -hmm. the games yep. that just came out now that the, it's going to really affect their bottom line. And so th things are more at risk than I think people realize as far as like the way that yeah. we're playing games. Um, I don't like it. This is a sign of things to come. I don't life. like it. So, All right. I'm going to try the new G Fuel flavor, Ego Boost, Nuclear Sunset. It's going to be very embarrassing if I hate it. <laughs> What's it smell? Sun smells like, sunset? It smells a little orange. So I imagine orange and grenadine and tequila. Yep. Orange. <clears throat> Pineapple. Pineapple. Apple. Actually, I'm liking Pomegranate. it. I like these tequila sunrises. It's very fruity. It sounds pretty good. It's very fruity. Yep. This is supposed to be manly because you got this this guy right here is doing one of these, Duke Nukem. In a pretty hilariously poor draw. Joe, did you draw that Duke Nukem? <laughs> pretty Off bad. Off memory. <laughs> Off memory. He's flexing. I think he looks, looks like this. Yeah. It's fine. But it's actually, Ego Boost is actually pretty good. All right. <laughs> Sorry, that looks good. Uh, well, then now let's get to the the meat of the the video. Let's talk about our Fallout review. Now, I want to start off right. with one thing that I think that a lot of people that watch our show do not realize or do not remember. The Angry Joe Show scale, and I bring it up as often as I can because people get mad at us. It's different. It's from different. Other and scales. so we are not in second grade. So when you get a seventy-five percent, this he already done. <laughs> Good. Everybody's gonna download this yeah. too. Uh, yeah. You, uh, all right. Average for us is a five. That's a five. So when uh, other sources, 75 or a seven is mm. average. So when we give something a five and another place gives it a seven, we are giving it the same score. Yes, so when, that you, you definitely have to factor. Even I liked the show. I gave it an above average score, yeah. um, which is we, like we have to clarify this. So uh, it's one of our lowest rated videos of all time. Uh, 50, <laughs> 56 rated, 56 something or 53 at this time. Oof. And so people are very pissed that we gave the second half of the season a six out of 10. And I think they stopped right there. And then they make their comment and they downvote the video. And that's, listen, that's perfectly okay. I like the engagement. I, 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 I want to hear why you liked it more than, than us. Less of us. 
I would like to clarify. So count. first off, you, you guys, um, uh, I liked it. Let's read a few of the comments. I actually like this more than The Last of Us. Uh, actually, I liked it more than The Last of Us too. that first four episodes. I even said that very same thing. Um, and then we get into, I'm convinced they're not fully paying attention when they watch these shows because they had an entire scene showing Lucy implant the tracker in the head. That was like a minute long, minute and a half long. But in this review, they claim there is no scene showing the tracker. I don't understand we how they could have said, missed that scene no. unless they were playing on their phones or some bullshit like that. Yeah, these guys are not true fans. They are not paying attention. I wouldn't doubt that at all. And then they go off. And we I don't think they watch. Here's another one. I don't think they watch the same show as the rest of us. I've never seen a comment section so opinion so different from the actual video. Lucy not trusting Max is character development. By the time they meet again, she's been through so much that she's now less that. optimistic and trusting of strangers. Which Joe I said, said that. that. So that's why we have three I people said here. Those two things. We, that's why we have three people here. <clears throat> but I think what happens is it gets our opinions get aggregated into one opinion and the opinion that the person hates. So like they and here's another one, Joe, and this one you should you should pay attention to. Uh, I don't pay attention apparently. Here we go. Well, do, this do, this do, one's do. fair criticism. They said don't wa don't review it if you fall asleep. No, come on, Joe. They say Joe falling asleep. I think I don't know if they're referring to you or me. I didn't fall asleep. It me. was this guy that fell joke asleep. And he was now now granted, it's eight hours long. To be fair, we are reviewing <laughs> eight hours. Fair. And he only closed his eyes for like five minutes. I I pushed him away. I said, like, get get up. Um this is the shittiest review ever. Uh, sadly, this review made me lose faith in you guys. I'm unsubscribing. Not sure you're paying full attention when you watch these shows. So the one thing where we're not paying attention. Were you paying attention uh, during I, the show? Every, every scene. So did you fall asleep at all? Never. Okay. So, and just to be clear, I didn't fall asleep and I was paying attention the whole time. I said it was just, it was very convenient for the for Lucy to keep showing up in all of these particular areas. Other shows write these th these scenes slightly different, so mm -hmm. it makes a little more sense. They say, well, but the tracker, the tracker. The squire had Let's, the head. The squire had the head. The squire left a long time ago. Yes. A Unless city a is lag. fucking huge. I don't know if you realize. LA is a very small town. I don't know if you, you realize the area of, of, of something is very big. And so for her to actually show up at the same fucking awning and the same fucking railroad tracks that the, the, the armor just so happened to uh, have its fusion core pulled is a little convenient. And so when we say, oh, is that that? Okay. But see, that one thing doesn't bother me. It's when you stack it up with six or seven of those as you go along. So um, anyways, uh, this is disappointing. I don't know if it's because Joe had to rush this for some reason, uh, as he said, and it's like they didn't pay attention at all in the first four episodes. Personally, I binged the whole thing from start to finish, and I think the pace throughout is even. It's like they overreact to everything. The uh, And then they go on to question whether I'm a fan uh, I hate how Joe says he's a mega fan and doesn't know anything about the lore. Um, a six, Joe, slightly above average. Give me a fucking break, dude. I'm disappointed. I don't think I've ever great, uh, disagree with Joe more. Uh, the romance isn't forced. She's desperate to find a partner uh, with what it being an apocalypse or whatever. And he is the only good person she's met above ground. Uh, you are judging it by normal rules of attraction. Okay, so Joe crying about having to watch eight hours of television uh, for his job is literally hilarious. I think he's lost touch with reality at this point. I don't remember crying about it. Uh, Lucy's dad went uh, to New Vegas because Mr. House is there. Oh, Robco, that, that stuff is interesting, and I'm looking forward to that, but I don't know what that has to do with us not. Uh, a rare angry Joe miss. And so when you, when you do, oh, man. <clears throat> It, it, it's hurt. So, guys, do you want to change your opinion on the uh, fallout based upon uh, maybe you weren't paying attention? We gave it a seven, though, for the whole thing. We enjoyed it. We liked it. We told people to go watch it. Yeah, but because we gave the four, the last four episodes an aggregate rating of six, 
I think that's when people rush to the comment section and say these guys are so fucking assholes. So if we say, oh, okay, well, it's a seven. Is that going to fix everything? No, it's not. So I don't a, know. What's the point? I, I don't know. <laughs> we did point? say it's a seven. <laughs> Ultimately, if you keep watching the yes. hour-long video, uh, we aggregate it all. No, so maybe the in only... the future if we – see, here's the thing. I don't ever want to change my opinion – if I think it will gain me more points with my audience, I want to bring you my opinion unfiltered. And if it has a blowback effect and people downvote us and hate us, I'm going to have to accept that, but I like to have the dialogue afterwards. Uh, for example, maybe we are a little harder on TV shows. For uh, One of the big examples is Twisted Metal. Um, we got downvoted there, not quite as bad, 70% downvote on the Twisted Metal review, because we gave it a 2! <laughs> 2 out of 10! We hated the Twisted Metal Peacock series, and people loved that series, and they were like, you guys have no fucking idea what you're talking about. Now I go back and look at those comments, and actually people have kind of come around. They're like, okay, yeah, maybe it wasn't as good as that you know people are giving nines it sounds like what are you doing tens so i don't know maybe there's an effect that um there's a high right now around yeah. the fallout series but i but here's the thing we said it's a good adaptation we think it's one of the best adaptations ever and we agree with that so don't think that we hate the fallout series because we gave the second half a six out of ten and the overall a seven out of ten so just to clarify, do you want to change your rating? But there's no point. The only thing I want to clarify is like, yes, we know about the tracker. She mm -hmm. put it up the nodes. We talked about that already. And I still feel like it's kind of forced for the yeah. love story. And even if we got the tracker thing wrong, there the points that we make, there's like you, you, so seven points in there that have nothing to do with the tracker. There was a point where you, you mentioned, the, not, mentioned not seeing the tracker. And... That's fine. I mean, we, I don't know if you've ever You're talked for a ni 90 minutes straight. Sometimes the words fall out of your mouth wrong, uh, and you don't use them. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, like that, that just happens. It's very difficult. Um, we <laughs> all, even me, the harshest the, I, uh, the harshest of the critics, I like the show. I said it, it's, it's better than average. These people are mad that I didn't like something as much as they liked it. It's not that I said I hated it like Twisted Metal, which is a dumb show. Um, even <laughs> it is a dumb show. Metacritic, and Super Mario. Metacritic is at a 55% on Twisted Metal. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. But that's but don't use critics as a way because people are like, fuck critics, we hate critics. Good. Yet you're watching yeah. a critic show. We are critics, <laughs> yeah, yeah. technically. Uh, yeah. I'm just saying that like there are a lot of people that don't or, <clears throat> or like some of some of these shows. Um we we gave it a fairly similar score. I think we gave it the same score if you adjust our score to the our scale to someone else's scale as a lot of major outlets. Um I don't I think I just honestly think it's people have no media literacy <coughs> and they don't look at they don't watch the actual review and so they saw one part they disagreed with it. They downvoted the video and then stopped watching the video. So that's what happens. And I can attest to that personally, that there is a snowball effect. But I'm not ignoring the fact that yeah. our audience has a different opinion of us on this particular thing. You and, they're and let, I. They're letting us know that they like the Fallout TV show at a, put it in the comments. Yeah. What would you give the whole thing? Because I think 10. maybe it's blowing up a little bigger than it needs to be that people think we hate the Fallout. We don't. I fucking love it. Um, and in fact, I watched it a second time. I had to go through it again with my girlfriend and seeing her like, it, like as a, as somebody who doesn't know anything about fallout, that score is a lot higher. So I can, I can totally see that coming in, never having played the video games. I'm so excited for new people to walk into this. And I think it's a perfect show for that. And it's even a great show for the video game fans. What were you going to say? What you said in the review as well. I yeah, mean, exactly. Just, but I don't know. You don't get to that point. Right you now. get to we're the six out of ten and they're like, yeah. Joe, I'm unsubscribing. I fucking hate you. You don't like this as much as we do. And you weren't paying attention. Now let me pick on one or two things in an hour long thing that you're trying to aggregate eight hours of content. And, and then, haha, I got you on that. And that's why you're wrong about everything. It's like, yeah, but what about the other you, points you, that we made? You spelled that wrong, so therefore all of your arguments are invalid. So, so just to clarify, I would like to go through my, my ratings after having seen it twice now. And I want to look at them because 
So uh, episode one, I personally gave an eight out of ten. Episode two, nine out of ten. Episode three, eight out of ten. Episode four, eight out of ten. And so when I aggregated all that to a eight. I think upon rewatching, I like the first four episodes even better. I would probably give it a nine at this point. And then I rewatched the last four episodes, and here was the ratings. This is what caused the controversy. So episode five is where I gave it six out of ten. Episode six went way up because that's the vault four stuff that was eight out of ten episode seven Here's where you have basically um, uh, The squire and his destroyed foot and the you know the DJ Carl stuff and then uh, so that went back down to a six out then the romance stuff or um, So six out of ten and then episode eight six out of ten so that's why I aggregated it out to a 6 out of 10, slightly above average. Upon rewatching, I think a lot of the stuff does still work. So I'd probably go a 7, a 7 out of 10 uh, on that. And so the most I think I would go, instead of giving the overall series a 7 out of 10, I can see an 8. Um, you guys going to change your ratings or are you, you yeah, you're right, right there? There's no point. Okay, so I'm looking here. Uh, the, I, I pinned a top comment, and I'm giving you the actual reasons why we gave the second half of a season a little lower. The tone falters a bit. Now, of course, there are plenty of comments that tell me I don't know anything about Fallout, and I'm not a true fan because the tone is all over the place in the video games. Yeah, yeah. So the, the, the problem, I'm going to bring up the example, is a grown man doesn't know what an erection is, doesn't know what ejaculation is, and he compares his penis, which he keeps calling my cock, to a pimple. Now, that tone is so far all over the place. That's the problem that I had yeah. with the whole Max and thing. And we articulated it perfectly like that, yeah, but people so like, will pick at it. Look, I like some of the funny stuff. I like some of the serious stuff. It just, towards the end of the series... Vault 4 was played for a fucking joke. Yeah. The entire ending of Vault 4 was a joke. Yeah, and I wish it Max was a little was more was a joke. The, uh, I mean... the Maximus, the, yeah. Maximus was a joke. The radio host guy was a joke. Honestly, that final fight was a the fucking Squire joke. The Squire was a joke. Yeah. Mm. And so it's like, <clears throat> that final fight I don't think was very good, and... So like, what am I supposed to be thrilled about towards the last? That fine. Uh, okay, so so I, I um, tone falters a bit. Uh, rushed ending. I don't think anybody is going to disagree with a rushed ending. Um, Yo, you're uh, wrong on weak, that. Weak romance. Uh, probably. Yes. Weak romance. I don't think anybody's going to disagree with that. But I'm wrong on that. Yeah, that one guy that said, one, "Well, clearly say, he's she's the only he's the only good she had person settle. she met, so she loves him." But to us. If if something when they kiss and it, and I don't really care about it or at the end when she's crying to the revelations and I don't really care about it that that has weak emotional resonance so it kind of it, it's there and then I honestly think that final battle between the Brotherhood and the NCR that battle it's a little hilarious we we called that out how the flags just walk by each other and it's there for five seconds and um, so a lot of those things put together uh, lowered it a little bit but. Ultimately, I gave it a 7 out of 10. I said, really great adaptation, better than Halo. The Last of Us Season 1, I think, on HBO, adapts the video game slightly better. And I'm very much looking forward to Season 2. Um, I think upon rewatching it with my girlfriend and seeing from her perspective, I'd probably go an 8 out of 10. Um, but, you know, it's, it's difficult when you're reviewing 8 hours of content and, you know, when you give your opinions, they're are lore masters out there that know everything about everything. And I Grant, I think I know a lot about the Fallout universe. You know, did you I know every single state in the U, the US whether it's been in a Fallout game or not. Like I got I got deep into this shit and changing the uh to Vault Tech dropping the bombs instead of China dropping the bombs is is a choice. It was alluded to a little bit in the games, and I like it. I like that. But uh, there's, it's a little less with the, the Chinese 
it, it does seem slightly different, but I think they leave it as open ended as possible mm -hmm. so that it can work both ways. And I think that's very, very smart. Uh, but it doesn't mean that that final episode with this final battle where there's supposed to be all this emotional gravity behind it. I just didn't really feel it. You know, um, Some I thought people, Goggins was fantastic. Some oh, yeah. people just like different stuff. Yeah. And um, I feel like I'm justifying too much uh, our different opinion from our audience. But I like to have a discussion. So like, I thought we'd discuss well, you can it. You also just be normal around people that, like, I don't like Superman as a character. I'm using it because it's on your shirt. What the fuck? I don't think he's a good character. You son of... You're I, fired. I don't think he's a... Get out! And so it's like... Get... Shut... I'm unsubscribing from Alex. Yeah. No. You we spill we, everywhere. So we like, cannot be friends. Uh, so, oh, no. All right. I guess that we have proven chat correct. And I will yes, see you. Yes, uh, I'm fucking trigger right again. now. Fuck you, Alex. You don't even pay attention to the Superman comics. I have. That's why you didn't like him. Yeah. Because you said, what? You say he's a boring character? Well, clearly you didn't see Superman he Birthright. Put, you didn't fucking read Birthright, did you? He could put all you? the bricks back together with his mind powers. That's like, that sweet. didn't happen. <laughs> That's fucking sweet. Yeah. So it's like people <laughs> like different things, and people are looking for different things. Oh, yes. shit. Um, and... I don't know. Yeah. You can be normal about it, or you can be super weird and be like, oh, you have a different opinion. I'm unsubscribing. This, <laughs> this revelation is, is earth shattering. Oh, Alex said he I, didn't. Fuck you, Fallout. If I didn't t talk about this shit, I would still think that Alex thinks Superman's okay. I already knew that. And you said you, did, you, you knew, knew that. Oh, yeah, I knew How that. How you can be friends with this guy? He likes different things. He, know. he doesn't so, like what? watch my dumbass I don't movies. Understand. We're still friends. Yeah. I don't he know. That does not movies. make sense. I'm unsubscribing <laughs> from you in real life. Sounds good. Didn't you unsub? You got to unsubscribe from him. But it, it's only fair. <laughs> he doesn't like my movies. Yeah. <laughs> We're still uh. friends. <laughs> So, uh, to be fair, there are some other comments here. I like this comment from Space Cowboy 1438 I feel about the same as you. I don't like Joe very much, but I fully agree with him and OJ. I even agree with Alex, who usually craps on things I liked about bad games and movies. So, it's not all, you know, the hive mind saying, you gave a 6 out of 10 to the second half? Fuck you forever. <laughs> well, the vast majority of people aren't subs the people who watch our videos. You know, we've gone through the analytics. A lot of them aren't subscribed. You should subscribe if you're not subscribed. Yes, please subscribe. They're, they're not subscribed. They don't comment and they don't <clears> vote. <throat> and so only the people who are truly and I don't even like using this word, but triggered by the things that we say are going to downvote. So I actually don't even think that the majority of people who watch our stuff or our subscribers of the show hate our opinion. It's just the people who do not agree with us that are. You know, I'm unsubscribing. Yeah, it's exactly the same like, way. It's like, oh, write a, write a comment. It's like, well, I liked it. It's fine. It's the people that get mad. It's like, oh, I'm going to leave a negative comment. Yeah. So, what are you going to do? Because everything, yeah. everything I'm reading here is, oh, you misspelled this thing, so every your entire argument is invalid. You missed a scene. You missed a scene. It's the same thing over and over. Yeah, for example, leave it to Joe and crew to talk about how upholding the lore, which I don't remember saying exactly, makes for a better product. Never made that point. I never said to that then either. proceed to demonstrate how they don't know anything about the lore. I never claimed Bro, to. Bro, Lone Siphon, I bet you I know more about the fucking Fallout lore than you and do. And I never claimed to. <laughs> and Joe never claims to. Did you know our Arkansas has never been fucking mentioned once in the motherfucking uh, lore. Did you know that uh, the, the Power Armor T-51B turned the game. war around and defeated the Chinese in Alaska? See, man, you don't, you don't fucking game. know shit. None of that has anything to do with the rating that I gave the fucking TV show, though. Oh, my God. And you don't need, and number one, I'm so tired of the fucking gatekeeping. I, the one comment that bothers me the most is, is like, if I say, man, I'm a really big fan of this, then people jump on that. It's like, well, you, you didn't know this, but, 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 but it's like, what the fuck? When you say you're a fan of something, it doesn't mean you're a YouTube lore master that you know every goddamn aspect of the game. That's not how that is. Stop, stop gatekeeping things, please. I think this person. Anyways, I love Fallout TV this, show. This person downvoted you, but they gave it an eight out of ten, <clears throat> and you gave it a seven. Why did you fucking downvote if you gave it a eight and I gave it a seven? And honestly, I am raising my score. I saw, I saw a comment. I, I, I clicked this one. I like to expose myself. Uh, he's, he's, I'm gonna I don't expose see myself those. right here. I don't want to see those. Please. You don't want to see this. All right, hold on. <laughs> 
Um, I thought the second half was much better and more intriguing. I enjoyed it. I agree. Uh, I, I, I agree in some parts with the uh, reveal of that. Um, the brain in the jar. I fucking love that oh, shit. You okay, know? I found it. Just wait. Joe will see the divide from the comments. Watch the episodes again, quote unquote, and change his score to meet his audience's opinion. Crying emoji. And I guess technically that's what it seems like I'm doing now, but I did rewatch it with my girlfriend. And here's the thing is opinions can change. They're not set in stone. Yes, like my opinion of... Uh, they're set Superman. in stone. <laughs> Your opinion of Superman set in stone. My opinion of Man of Steel is set in stone. That's a good movie. That's a good ah. Elseworlds movie. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. He had to do that. I don't like Zack Snyder. I know you don't like Zack Snyder. <laughs> but, but I, I uh, give that movie an eight still. What would you give uh, 300? First one, oh. second one? I got was, you. Was, was I, it? Got, I got him. Give 300 a rating. Not I don't the know. second one. Uh, it's up there. But like he didn't write 300. I don't care. He was responsible for it. Give no. 300 a rating. Oh, no. It, Get 300 a rating! Uh, so, like, Zack Snyder as a writer is one of the dumbest people ever lived, and Zack Snyder as a person taking a comic book and turning it into something cool is actually does a pretty good give job. Give 300 a rating. I don't know. Probably maybe a 9? Yeah. That's what I would give it. Either I'd a like, 9 or a 10. I haven't watched it in a while. while. It's, it's good. I actually even like it. Written by life. Zack Snyder. Got you. Directed no, by Zack Snyder. Screenplay by Zack Snyder and Kurt Johnstad and Michael B. Gordon. But he took an existing thing. Yeah. And so he, he took A story, else's right. Thing. Yeah. He tried to do that with Rebel Moon. But he was from nine different sources. That's and coming so- out. <laughs> it's coming out Friday. soon. Yeah. Friday. Our opinion. We're going to get downvoted on that, too. No, I'm playing. No, I imagine we are. Yeah. No, well, why? I, I think people agree that Rebel Moon is weak as fuck. Uh, I think that I think there there are people out there, the Snyder f- people, who don't oh, like me. Oh well, they don't right. count. Look, I they don't think don't any count. of the people saying that because you said one thing wrong in two and a half hours of con- one thing, eight hours of it, no, no, watching two and a half hours, and of, half hours content, of content that yeah. your your opinion doesn't matter right. because you right. either misspoke <laughs> or forgot a scene existed. Yeah. If that is your whole thing, like your whole, everything that you've ever said is invalid because you got one thing wrong, no, I don't off. think those people matter. Argumentatively. <clears throat> Just to uh, reiterate, we love the Fallout TV series. I cannot wait for a second season. They're showing off, uh, showing off Fallout New Vegas. I love all the actors in it. I think Maximus is a little underdeveloped. I'd like to see... A little underdeveloped? I'm being kind for our audience. You know what? I think Maximus is underdeveloped and yes. not very interesting. Everything falls into the guy's lap. Now, all of a sudden, he's the fucking That's brotherhood leader. And when he brought the fucking wrong happened. head instead of executing him, they're like, yeah, plot armor. Just give this guy everything. Let's make him second in command. What? <laughs> all right. Because the chick uh, put a fucking blade in her boot. Everybody uh, now makes Maximus the leader. <laughs> Okay, um, and then the romance not not really doing it for me, um, and then the rushed ending in the battle. Um, but other than that, I really really enjoyed it. I would rather have way more of this TV series than Rings of Power, and yes. I think it's going to be better than The Last of Us season two. I think it's one of the best adaptations ever, especially if you're not a you know huge lore nut and you want every little thing right uh which is kind of me uh and you are a casual watching it you're gonna love it so anyways thank you all guys uh, so much uh for watching and uh alex won't be here next week because he Go doesn't like superman <laughs> and, and i don't i am unsubscribing from alex anyways it's thank nice y'all very you. much no i'm joking we can have the point we're trying to make is yes. we can have different opinions on things and you don't have to call into question um whether we saw it correctly or whether we were paying attention and stuff like that um i don't know uh, but I do like the discussion. So tell us exactly why. Civil discussion is um, great. Mm-hmm. Tell and us our exactly Discord why is great for that you, too. you like uh, the second half more check than the first Discord. half. And um, yeah, check it out. So thank you guys so much. Thank you to G Fuel. We got a 30%, 30% off, off code. Usually it's only like 15 or 20. So now is the time to Restock. grab a tub. Yep. Restock up, and we will see you in part two of the news video. This is a little longer one, which I like. I like the longer news, especially when we're talking about hot topics like uh, whether Superman is boring or not. 
It's an interesting story. How many superpowers does the guy need? <laughs> Fuck you, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> How many fucking superpowers does Batman have? <laughs> Batman no, just zero. wins everything. It's all plot armor. It's all fucking It's all karate. Real. I'm not saying he's the karate. end all be all karate. either. <laughs> all right, Alex. What is one of the heroes you really like instead of Superman? Green Lantern. Oh, yeah. If he said Dude, green... I, I know hate, this motherfucker hates Green Lantern. I hate green Good Lantern job. And the Flash, too. I don't like the Flash. Don't like the, what fucking arrow do you like? Out of DC? Martian Manhunter. No. Oh, yeah. John Jones. Let's go. Yeah. He's like he Frankenstein. He's afraid of fire. Fire You're bad. a DC hater? How no, did this guy like... get in my building? No, <laughs> all these revelations. I told you. I Give me one, I one character all... in DC you like. Uh, have you ever uh, read Red? I think Red is the best DC movie ever made. Yes, he said. Bruce Willis with a spinning car and he walks out. That's it. Wait, that's that Red? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's Red. That's great. That movie's great. Don't worry. John Malkovich is a treasure. I remember you saying all this. Yeah. I mean, it's true. It's okay. We can still be friends. <laughs> it's my fucking head, Bruce Willis over Superman. I think that character is more interesting. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. All right. We'll, well see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, bye guys. everybody.